What's going on YouTube? Kyle can come at you with another Final Fantasy Record Keeper video. If you are enjoying this, please sure like, comment, subscribe, to share your support. Anyway, today with another Relic Draw video. Um, I'm using a new mic, so hopefully it doesn't sound too different. Hopefully I actually sound better. Um, this headset feels a little weird on me right now, but I wore it uh, all during stream, so it, it feels more comfortable. Um, I just hope that the audio balancing is all right and everything. Anyway, uh, this is for the Blasting Zone uh, Soul Break uh banner for part one of the squall event or the cypher event rather um there's gonna be two parts of this uh, which is why i said this is part one now let's get into this banner there's gonna be squalls um super soul break so let's get right into uh okay no don't do that immediately all right this is the cutting trigger it gives all saw gives squall blasting zone which is four attacks to one target unique to squall um it gives uh, plus 10 percent mastery and all honestly, it's really underwhelming as a um, super soul break for Squall. In all honesty, because what was it? Um, Faded Circle did three um, attacks. Well, it did two, two att to attacks to a single, and then the last one was AoE. So it was effectively three attacks. Not only that, uh, Clouds, um, Clouds Blade Beam is a is an AoE three attack. So that's a lot more useful. Although this does have its uses. Uh, again. I can't justify pulling on a banner if you want one single relic, so I would not advise pulling on this banner if you only are pulling for this relic. I mean, unless you really, really, really want to use Squall, but in about a month or so, there's going to be a super, another Super Soul Break celebration, so uh, another one, a Super Soul Break celebration, so you want to save up your Mithril and stuff for then, um, or if you're like me and you want to pull on the, on the upcoming Final Fantasy IX and Final Fantasy X banners, which have a lot of things that I want on them. All in, all in one banner. So, it's not that bad for a sword either. Next up, we have the Hyperion, which gives Cypher Demon Slice. It deals damage to all targets and sometimes paralyzes them. Um, it's not bad. Um, it's an AoE soul break. The only thing about it is... It's single hit, so it's really, really not... It's, it's not. I say it's not bad, but it's actually really horrendous. Um, because it's... Like, yeah, the paralysis chance is nice, but... It's a single hit AoE, so like it's really not that useful. His second soul break though, which I don't know when we're getting, is quite useful. Um I think pretty sure it's three hits AoE, which is quite nice. And I think they both have the same stats, which is kind of ironic considering they're supposed to be like rivals, right? 135, uh, 95? Yeah. Hmm, interesting. Okay, anyway, next up. Oh no, Kenny. This one. Next up, we have the Valiant again, making a return for a Cypher. Fires 10 successors, shot attack. It's really not useful at all. Um, I mean, yeah, it's good if you have the right setup. If you have, like, uh, full break status reels uh, and magic, and uh, not magic, uh, armor breakdown or something, and, like, planet protector or something. Uh, so you could just max on all your damage. It's not bad for a gun, but as a soul break, it's really, really underwhelming it was you know surprising at first uh, i was like wow 10 hits that's pretty good and then when i tried it out it literally it did like 800 per hit which caps out about 8,000. which you know that's not bad but eh, a little bit more than 800 per hit we have another returning uh, relic for renoa uh this is her valkyrie the gets teaches her angel wing bolt at least just three um i think it's three uh lightning attacks on the targets um it's not bad you can easily break the damage limit um pretty good magic and it's a thrown weapon so not many people can use it renoa and hope can use it outside of those two um it's not that great in terms of um magic but it has decent attack um last time i pulled on a banner i got fusion chakra i don't remember which banner it was but that's helped me out immensely because waka can also use them up here we got the S-Star Bracers. This is basically the uh, Mystic Prayer thing that I got before from Final Fantasy VI. This is the armor piece. It's uh, got quite a bit of stats actually. Increases all your stats up accuracy, which is interesting. I don't know if all bracers do that. I know, actually, I think the other bracers I have do uh, raise quite a bit of stats. But it's decent armor if you need it for the Final Fantasy VIII realm. Um, you could definitely get other better things, but this is not bad. I don't know if, how the plus battle is going to be at, at the moment, so I can't say if it's going to be too good. Next up, we got the Blitz Helm. Uh, this is uh, Protega. If you really can't fit it onto, onto your team naturally, you can bring this. But I would just rather fit it onto my team naturally. and rather have the uses when I need them as opposed to uh, waiting for a soul break. 
This is a hat that looks looking like a mage hat. So I guess you could have like Renoa, Selfie, or uh, Christus wear it. Uh, it's not looking like it's too bad. It also increases the magic in mine, which is pretty decent. Uh, res and defense, that's pretty good, I guess. Uh, and then we got the Inferno Fang. That's probably not that. This is literally just Fire Rush Strike. So this is actually probably the worst item on this banner, in all honesty. It's a dagger. Um, we have much better daggers. We have like Thancred's down it, uh, dagger. Um, there's probably another dagger that's better that I can't think of off the top of my head. But yeah, this definitely is very underwhelming. Next up, we have the Ochu Tentacle, which is really, really bad. Um, I guess it's a whip thing for Quistus and Rydia, maybe. But in all honesty, if you get this, you might as well just get Quistus weapon instead. Because at least, I'm pretty sure hers just has better magic. Although I'm not sure. Even though her weapon isn't really all that good either, so. And finally, we have the Metal Knuckles. Uh... Eh, I don't really know what to say about these. Um, weapon for Zell in the Final Fantasy VIII realm, or, or any you know monk. But I would I, I I say specific characters because they get synergy in those realms. So uh, Zell, uh, one twenty eight attack that doesn't seem too bad. Um, that's that's decent attack I think. But again, that's a level thirty, so I'm not entirely sure if that's all that great. Anyway, without further ado, let's do my free one hundred relic draw. Not, not free, come on. Alright, let's hope I get something broken. Alright, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh, it's looking like a four star. I think. Oh, that's a three star. That's even worse. Great, I got whatever this is. It's not even Final Fantasy VIII, is it? That's for the event that I no longer... I literally have Lena's Rod. Don't do this to me. Oh, well, that's upsetting. Um, I was contemplating doing more draws for this, but that'll only be if I have end up having trouble with this uh, with this event. Um, I didn't have too much trouble with the Final Fantasy V event, so I didn't draw more. But I actually have like no armor for this event. So I was out of the free things I gave you and top it off when I was streaming I was I wasn't really paying attention so I kind of sold some sold some of the uh, equipment they gave so instead of having um extra swords well it doesn't matter for swords because I have squall's weapon and I have a blitz sword but uh yeah I'm not gonna get into that right now anyway guys if you did enjoy this video please be sure to like comment and subscribe to share your support be sure to share these videos with your friends that do enjoy record keeper and I will see you guys once the plus battles are drop which is what's today today is the 18th so the 21st or rather the 20th so that'll probably oh that might actually be friday hmm. all right then and i'll see you guys next time later